Hi people, it's Duncan from the Cardboard Bunker here. Uh, I thought I would give you a quick tutorial on how I do the um, the plaster mix, the plaster coating that I put on a lot of my cardboard scenery. I do this for two reasons. One, because it looks cool. This is the main reason. It's slightly textured. Uh, once you paint it on and let it dry, you can uh, dry brush over the top of it. So if you get something like this, which is one of the dungeon pieces I showed before, as you can see, you can see it uh, looks like bricks here. If you get it like this, paint the mix on, let it dry, spray paint it, dry brush gray on top. It looks very stony like. I think I've used that term before. I'm starting to like it. Okay, now this has just all been dry brushed, but it's very textured, you can see it comes out nicely. And it also has the great effect of making the barriers look like they're made from poured concrete. So what I've got here is I've got a cup, I don't know if you can see that, now that cup is 20 mils of uh, Woodwork glue. I use uh, this one, or you can buy a um, PVA glue. I just get this from Bunnings or wherever you are, your own uh, hardware store. Large chains are the better because you, you always get cheaper stuff there. And then I add water. I put 15 mils of water. You want slightly more glue than water, but the glue will dissolve and you'll get this really nice liquidy white goodness. Mix it up really really well. You want it to be very well mixed up. Then what you do is you don't need to sift this. You just get plaster of Paris. Okay now if you're pouring molds or anything like that use a more specialized finer type of plaster. But for this I just Spoon a bit in, keep an eye on it, keep spooning it in. You want it so that the plaster's in there, but it's not a thick, gooey, plastery mix. You want it so that it's still fairly runny, because this is more of a texture paint. But it's also a sealing and... Uh, gap filling paint as well. So it uses the best of both worlds. It uses the, the strength that you get from uh, woodwork glue and the texture you get from plaster. You just mix it in. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you get big lumps, don't worry. Just smash them down and you'll get something that looks like that. Okay, don't worry about the bubbles. Don't worry about anything. This this is not pouring a mold. It does not have to be perfect. And what you do is you get your old brush and you paint it on. Keep it all going the one way and don't worry if you get little streaks or bubbles. Just paint it on. Now I'm doing this at an awkward angle. It doesn't have to be thick or thin, just try and get it even. You want it to look good, you don't want it to look crap. Just paint down the sides and paint down that side. Okay. Actually, this mix is probably a bit thin, I could probably put some more plaster in there. As you can see, I'm very precise in my measuring. Okay, that's a bit better. So it's still very runny. As you can probably see there. But it holds better. Okay, and the good thing about this is if you notice it's wrong in the first one, it doesn't matter. 
wait for it to dry, paint it again. Okay, so just put some on. Okay, don't worry about drips, just smooth it all out. Now the more plaster you put in here, the quicker it dries because it absorbs all the water and the glue. Okay. So you get something like that. Now that looks very messy, very streaky. That's just the first coat. Now you do the same for this. Always start from the bottom and work your way up. You want to treat this just like your uh, dry brushing. You don't want to have too much on your brush and you want to really spread it out. Actually I probably made that a bit too thick but you get the idea. Just add a touch of water to that. And mix it in. Okay, so you just keep painting it. Now you could probably give two coats. To the barriers, get right into all the cracks and crevices, slop it on. What you can always do later on is sand it down, or you can get a tool and dig it in. Now you can be as neat or as messy as you like. Now I want these to look dirty and nasty, so I'm being pretty rough. Now, this is a rookie mistake right here. Don't know if you can see that on the, yeah, but it's actually covered all the gaps in between. So I'm going to have to go over that with a knife or a file later on and, and carve out the uh, bricks, which destroys the purpose of actually putting the plaster on there. But anyway, I'm glad I made the mistake so you could see it. I paint it all up. Put that aside because you can see this first one is dry. So let's put another layer on. You can put as many layers as you like until you get the desired result. Personally, I don't usually do more than three. There you go. Sit it aside, let it dry for about an hour. Again, if you are doing a mass production line of these, you can quite easily churn out 50 or 60 an hour if you like doing it that way. Anyway, that's that. Have fun, enjoy building.